Hey there, thank you for being here. In today's video, we are going to see how easy it is. With just a few simple steps, you will be able to secure your NES and make it a lot harder for any attacker to try to get into your NES and maybe your data. These are just basic set steps, very simple. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be a computer genius. But having said that, even after you secure your NES, it doesn't mean you can be laid back about backing up your data. There is always a chance that one out of a million attackers will be able to get into your NES and corrupt your data or steal it or, or encrypt it. You need to be able to restore your data in case of an emergency, but that's a topic all on its own. So let's go over to the computer and see how very easy it is to secure your NES greatly and make it a lot harder for uh, uh, attackers to get you. Follow me. Hey guys, so we are at the computer and I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit nasally today, I'm suffering from a congested nose, sorry. So we are at the computer and I want to jump right in in order to keep it as short as possible. I want to jump through the steps with you on how we can strengthen the security and posture of our Synology NAS. And as I said, there are a few simple basic uh, things we should do. Those are, those are in my opinion the most basic stuff any person can do uh, on a NES without being an expert. The first thing is, un unless you're heavily using it, I would suggest uh, uh, disabling remote access. Again, if you're not using it, there is no need for it to be on. So we are on DSM-7, we are going to control panel and external access. And if you're using, if, you, if you've checked disconnect, uncheck it. All right, uncheck it, save. And if you're using DDNS, again, it's up to you if you need it or not, you can delete the entry. And uh, this way you will have no external address and no external uh, quick connect access. I'm using it at least uh, for this uh, purpose for testing. This is a virtual DSM device. So I'm going to turn it back on. But if you're not using it, turn it off. That's the first step. Second step, very basic, and I, I'm, as, as far as I know, uh, Synology is starting to uh, push this uh, recommendation as, as a notification. You need to disable the built-in admin account. If you are, if you are using the built-in admin account, what you should do right now is to create a new user, and let's call it demo admin. Give it a password, make sure it's a strong one, all right, um, that, that's another recommendation. Click on next, add it to the administrators group, click on next all the way to the finish line. And now that you have this uh, 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 demo admin account created you need to log out if you're using the default admin account log on log out and log in using the new account that you've just created go into the admin account and click edit and check the disable this account the reason this is a recommended step because that's the first account attackers will try to brute force with. So instead of giving them 50% of the account they need to, uh, to hack, we'll just disable, disable it and create a new one. That's the second step. The third step is something that is uh, the Achilles heel of almost any organization, home or business, and that's the password complexity or lack of password complexity. We'll go into user and group on the advanced tab and we need to select apply password strength rules and so the more you'll check under under this tab the better for example minimum password length crank it up to 12 include special characters 
the more you uh, uh, get the password to be complex, the better. And uh, also enforce password expiration. Let's scroll down, enable password expiration, and you'll need to select uh, uh, the users that you uh, uh, want to uh, uh, designate for, for expiration. That's great. Click apply. Depends, uh, uh, depend on your use case, force users to, uh, uh, to change the password on next, next logon. But password expiration is critical. The uh, fourth step is to enforce two-factor authentication on, um, preferably on all users. So let's go to security, account, and enforce two-factor authentication at least on, uh, uh, um, on the administrator accounts. We'll have to enable uh, uh, email notifications and then we can enable uh, uh, um, two-factor authentication. In fact, let's do it. All right, so we have enabled uh, email notifications. Let's go back to security, account, enforce two-factor authentication, at least on the administrator's group, if not all users. Click apply. The users will have to configure their uh, two-factor authentication. And of course, we'll circle back to that. We'll create a regular account. We log out, log into this device and see uh, how two-factor authentication is, uh, is configured. Next step is to enable the built-in firewall. So the, the first thing you need to do is to enable it. And of course you can strengthen uh, the firewall by, for example, creating some geolocation rules. Let's click on edit rules and see how this is done. I'll click on create. I'll select on all ports and the source, source IP. I'm going to choose location. And let's, for example, search for North Korea. We don't want anyone from North Korea to be able to access our device, not even try to access our device. We'll select the deny. And now we have created a rule that will block any device trying to reach me from North Korea right out of the gate. That's the fourth rule. And we, uh, uh, we are going to the fifth rule, enable, enable auto block and uh, uh, DDNS. Let's go back to security, sorry, to the account tab, account protection, enable account protection. This, will, this means that the account uh, 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 will be locked against five failed logon attempts for one minute that's something that uh, really helps prevent dictionary brute force attempts. That's the first thing. And uh, uh, there's one more thing I want to, uh, uh, I would like to recommend you uh, enable is DDoS protection. So go to the protection tab right at the bottom, enable DOS protection. This will help against denial of service attacks. Uh, uh, um, the matrix or the, uh, um, or the amount of uh, 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 attempts that are configured, that are, sorry, that are uh, um, accounted as a DDoS attack is something that is not uh, uh, exposed to us, but it doesn't matter. Best practice or best recommendation is to enable it. And the last thing is something that I do recommend everyone should use. We can't remember or know every nook and cranny we can or should a, a strengthen or change the settings or enable something or disable something. This is why we have the security advisor. The security advisor will scan every aspect of our NAS and give us recommendation. For example, this is a scan I ran before uh, recording the video and it did found the admin account was enabled. So it gave me a warning and if I'll double click on it, it even gives me a recommendation on how to remediate it. It says go to control panel to the user and disable it. And this is, and also gives me a link straight to the uh, correct window. So this is where I'll disable the admin account. So with a few simple steps, as you can see, nothing is too complicated. 
we are greatly strengthening the security posture of our, uh, of our Synology NES. And I really think that everyone, a tech savvy or a, an untech savvy person, should go ahead and be able to do this uh, kind of, uh, um, let's say, first aid uh, uh, preliminary steps. Having done all these steps, I want to make it as clear as possible. It doesn't mean that you can be laid back about backing up your data. You need to back up your data. You need to prepare to the day that someday someone will be able to hack you or you will be infected with a, 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 a crypto a, a, a virus. You need to have your data backed up somewhere you can restore it from. So that's a whole other topic on its own. If you like this video, please give me a like. It will really help this channel with the uh, YouTube algorithm. Join our Facebook groups, subscribe uh, uh, to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.